Dara, as an EFL club owner, how do you feel about the Premier League so far setting another transfer record this summer? Over £2.1 billion spent so far. I mean, you guys don't even have a deal yet. Uh, uh, yeah, I, I mean, look, I, I don't want to fall out with the EFL. I'm on the naughty list for the last year for whatever reason. I don't know. I'm upset <laughs> everyone that, you, you, you know, so I'm trying to get off the naughty list. But there's so many things I want to change about what happens. with it. I'll just give you one example. You sign loan players from the Premier League um, and you're happy to give them a chance to play and they come down. We had Ben White two years later. He stole for 50 million. We played a part in that. And I want to change the landscape, particularly for League One and League Two, where we have to stop with what we're paying and some of the wages we have to contribute. I think if we're playing a part in helping develop for Premier League clubs for these players to be sold on for millions two years later, a couple of things need to stop. One is the way they push you on you must put the player up in his own accommodation. You can't share a flat. You've got to pay for the full year. You've got to pay these wages. If he doesn't pay 50%, you've got to pay the full wages, seven, eight grand a week. The biggest thing that irks me is our season ends at the end of April. And they all insist you pay the wages till the end of June. Add up the money from the end of April, from the end of April to the end of June. You're talking about 10, 11, 12 grand on the average loan. Throw that around. How much from the EFL goes to the Premier League in dead money for a time you don't play those players? Players, Do you understand my frustration? And I went to the EFL years ago and said, guys, we have to do a strike and stop doing deals with the Premier League for one summer. Stop taking their players on loan unless they listen to us. If we do it for one summer, we'll bring them to the table with some fairness. So while we're fighting for crumbs, don't forget about the small details just on loans alone. Yeah, so yeah. There's, there's lots we need to start fighting our corner on. It drives me absolutely mad, you know, because I love the Premier League, but doing deals with some of them and some of the things they do to you, the clubs at the last minute and changing deals and we insist on this, they know they've got you by the you-know-what uh, and you've got no choice. And I just think it's unfair when you're talking about 19, 20-year-olds who've never played football and you're giving them that platform. It's, and you're Simon, it's hard to argue them. with that. Either. It sounds like nothing other than unfair. No, he's not wrong about uh, you know debating and, and pushing forward with different agendas for the EFL. The leverage that the EFL will have with the Premier League is precisely nothing. So these discussions are 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 not unreasonable. And and for many many years, you know, I sat on these football league meetings, you know, wanting to cut my own head off, listening to some of the drivel that was in them. But the bottom line was to try and find meaningful conversations that had economic be benefits. And yes, I don't disagree with Darrow in principle. The idea of having a different loan methodology for Premier League players coming down, there should be almost the categorization of what you have to pay in percentage terms of a player's wages. David Dean did it to me on a couple of occasions, royally, metaphorically took my pants down on Matthew Upson, telling me that the kid was on 5,000, you know, 10,000 pound a week when he wasn't, he was on 5,000 pound a week. So I'm paying more, more wages than the kids actually getting out of Arsenal. Not only are they profiting out of the kid developing and playing and learning his trade in the yeah. championship, they're yeah. also making money off his wages. Yeah. And it's, it's difficult to see how the EFL could enforce it, but is it, these are conversations that should be had by cutting edge yes. football club chairman. Yes. They should be pushing the EFL to say, work harder to achieve better outcomes for us. Jim White and Simon Jordan. Monday to Friday mornings from 10 on AM, on DAB, via the TalkSport app and on your smart speaker. TalkSport.